this is a quick update on how to update your already jailbroken PlayStation 3. As you can see here, I have my Rogero firmware downloaded and this is the 4.55 version 1, which is the latest. And I'm going to open up my FileZilla and I'm going to type in my local IP address because um, okay this needs to update right now so uh, I'm gonna cancel this anyway um, I think it's 0 0.110 I'm not so sure or 102 it's not 110 so anyway instead of going to the PlayStation 3 I already have a USB hard drive connected on my PlayStation 3 so I'm going to directly transfer it to my PS3 folder that's already created on that hard drive as you can see with capital letters and inside there there will be another file named update again with capital letters so I'm going to open that one as well and in here there is the old update and I'm going to delete this one just right click and delete yes and so now I'm just going to drag and drop the file and I'm going to wait for it to transfer okay and this is finished so I'm going to show you the next steps on my PlayStation 3 So after you exit Multiman, the safest way in my opinion to update your PlayStation 3 firmware is through the recovery menu. And instead of pushing the power button for several seconds and then for another several seconds and all that stuff, there is an application that's called Condor Updater. And if you run this you will go directly into the PlayStation 3 recovery menu without any fuss. So I have already connected my PlayStation 3 controller with a USB cable because when it boots up, yep, it's gonna ask us exactly that. So I'm pressing the PS button and it says the system software cannot be run correctly. Press the PS button to try to restart the system. And if you do, it will just do a quick recovery of the system. And then it says if the system cannot be restarted, you must reinstall the system software. Connect storage media that contains update data of version 4.50 or later, because I do have 4.50 already installed. And then press start and select buttons at the same time. For information on how to update, update data, refer to the SCE website or your region. So I will press start and select and my hard disk is already connected and I have all the appropriate files in there. So I'm pressing start and select and it's gonna check. Mind you, we don't have any Blu-ray or DVDs inside the drive. So be wary of that because most of the guys online suggest that if you do have a PlayStation 3 game in there, it will first scan that firmware and most likely it will install that one instead of the one you have in your USB flash drive or USB hard disk like me. One thing I forgot to mention, you should connect your hard disk drive or USB flash drive on the rightmost USB port on the PlayStation 3. Okay, so PlayStation 3 system software version 4.55-ROG v1.00. Press the PS button, use the wireless control. So it suggests that we can use the wireless control now, but I don't want to do it on the board. You have to get out. You know how that is. Oh, 
Okay, user agreement. Yes, we accept. Enter, and it's installing. And yes, as you can see, <laughs> custom firmware 4.55 version 1. Let's see if everything is working properly. I'm going to run Multiman. It's already updated to the latest Multiman, so I won't face any problems. If you don't have the latest Multiman, you should probably install it by the online update function. This is what I usually do. Already have the latest one. So, let's run Gran Turismo 6. Oh, yeah. And yes, it is running. And that was a quick guide on how to update your PlayStation 3 with the latest Rogero 4.55 version 1. Thank you again for watching one of my videos, guys, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.